so guys, we have some massive breaking news. Canada will not be participating in the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. They are still scheduled to go ahead later this summer, starting in July. And there's been a lot of debate about whether or not the Olympics should go forward. With some people wanting the Olympics to go ahead as scheduled, but many people, especially athletes, but not just athletes, worried about their safety the safety of their families, the safety of their communities, and on and on and on. And they want the games postponed. And so Canada has made the decision that even if the Olympics go ahead this summer, Canada will not be attending. The Canadian Olympic Committee has said in a press release that just dropped a few minutes ago that they will not be going. They fully understand the difficulty of this decision. They fully understand the ramifications of this decision for Canadians and for all other athletes. But at the end of the day, they made a decision based on the needs of Canadians keeping them safe, and ensuring that Canadians don't play a role in endangering the safety of other people all over the world. These games, even if they were stripped down, would still be a massive global transfer of people to and from Japan, from all over the world, and in this time of crisis, even if we do end up flattening the curve somewhat, it is grossly irresponsible to have an event like the Olympics in this year. Canada has said that we would be perfectly willing to have a 2021 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, that we would be willing to practice this event on the off year. We understand that that's an unprecedented decision to make in modern times, but it's one that does need to be made if everyone's health and safety and dignity is to be respected. And this is something that I'm really glad to see. I'm a huge fan of the Olympics, guys. I'm a massive fan of the Olympics. Uh, I love watching them, always cheer for Canada, cheer for Greece because my father was from Greece, cheer for all the athletes and their great accomplishments. Every time there's an Olympics, summer or winter, I basically watch nothing but Olympics for two weeks, even when it's in the middle of the night because it's happening in China or Japan or Australia or whatever. So as somebody who loves the Olympics, loves watching them as a spectator, I still understand that this would be the right move and that I hope other countries, especially some of the larger countries like the United States, like France and England and Spain and Italy and China and others make the right decision to not participate in this Olympics, because if they do participate, there will be immense global concerns. And we're not even just talking about the countries that go, because this will affect everyone, even countries that make the right choice to not send people, because we can only keep borders closed for so long. And the choice to go to these Olympic Games will, in global terms, prevent us from collectively flattening that curve, from doing our best to ensure that health systems on a local, regional, national, and international basis are not overwhelmed by making a decision that was avoidable. This is not a necessary act. There are certain forms of trade and there are certain forms of population movement that cannot be avoided, even during a deep crisis. We all understand that. We all understand that people need food. People need certain goods and services. That's not going away. But the Olympics are a luxury that we cannot afford right now. And I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about, you know, philosophically. Humanity cannot afford this luxury right now, given what we're going through. There were Canadian athletes talking about this, and I think that it's great that the Canadian Olympic Committee really listened to athletes. Haley Wickenheiser, one of Canada's greatest ever, you know, hockey players, one of the greatest female hockey players of all time, you know, was a fantastic athlete and representative of Canada on the global stage, made it very clear, and she's also training to be a medical doctor, that the athletes are very, very wary about these Olympic Games, and they're not just talking about Canadian athletes, that whether it's the fact that they're worried about their health and safety or whether it's the fact that they're worried about injury because they can't effectively train right now because they're basically in lockdown. 
All of those things are giving deep concern to athletes. Will they be able to perform? Will they be able to perform without hurting themselves? Will they be able to perform in a manner that respects the dignity of the Olympics? And above all, will their choice to participate, will their choice to balance their lifelong dream of being an Olympian with their responsibility to fellow people, you know, if they chose the former, will they be putting other folks, those they love, but also all the people around the world that they share a common link to, Will they be putting them at risk? So guys, in this moment, I'm glad. I'm a Canadian. I know my country isn't perfect. I'm not one of these rah, rah, rah Canadians who, you know, says Canada's the best at everything and we can do no wrong. You guys know this. But my goodness, I'm happy to see this. I'm happy to see Canada take leadership because right now, at least, it looks like the International Olympic Committee and it looks like other sporting bodies aren't willing to actually, you know, flip the lever, flip the switch here and cancel or postpone these Olympics. I think the right move is to move them to 2021, keep them in Tokyo, move them to 2021, allow us another year to plan the logistics, both health and material logistics of this event and make sure everyone is safe. Other countries need to take the lead. I'm glad Canada is the first domino, hopefully in a long line of them, and that athletes all over the world, their trainers all over the world, and sports fans, however much we miss sports right now, let it be known that the Olympic Games, however awesome and, you know, important they can be, are not something that matters now in comparison to ensuring that we do our collective duty and preventing the spread of this current health crisis.